is Aletha Shuck and you are with Curious Classroom Adventures today for another math game. Today we're going to work on multiplying a fraction by a whole number. Now whether you're using fraction strips or number lines or just multiplication, this game will work for all three. It is called Domino Fraction War. Let's jump in and look at how to play Domino Fraction War. To play this game you'll need a partner, um, a recording sheet, some dominoes to play with and a one die to roll okay so on for each round uh, both players will draw a domino and use it to make a fraction okay so in order for it to be a proper fraction we need to make sure that the numerator is smaller than the denominator the number on top is smaller than the number on the bottom okay so our fraction that we drew is four eighths so we will write four eighths as our fraction Okay, our partner drew four sevenths. Okay, the next step is that each player will roll the dice to get a whole number. Okay, we have one, two, and our partner is going to roll five. Okay, then we multiply. Okay, well, anything times one is the same thing. So four eighths times one is still going to be four eighths. Okay, our partner has a little more work to do. Four, we'll take the numerator times the whole number. Four times five is 20, right? 20 sevenths, because the denominator stays the same. Okay, and then that's an improper fraction. So we're gonna need to fix that. So 20 divided by seven, it can go in two times with six left over. So two and six sevenths is their final product. So then we're gonna look at who has the larger product. Well, in this case, it's definitely our partner because they have two holes and we we're only have a half, right? They have almost three. So they win, win both dominoes and they get to keep those. And then we'll play again. Oh, we have, if you run across this where there's a zero, just throw that one out and draw again. Cause that doesn't, oh, look, it happened to me again. That doesn't really help us much. We need some actual numbers to play with. So two is smaller than three, so two thirds will be our fraction. And our partner will get oh, six sixths. Okay, then same thing. Oh, times six for us, that was our roll. And times five for our partner, okay? So then we take the numerator times the whole number. Two times six is 18. I'm sorry, two times six is 12. And our denominator is three. And if we turn that into uh, a proper fraction, three goes into 12, 12 divided by three, four times equally with nothing left over. So that actually makes a whole number of four, okay? Our partner has six times five is 30, is their new numerator. The denominator stays the same. And then 30 divided by six, that goes in evenly too. It goes in as five. Well, isn't that interesting? Five, five, well, why? what happened? Oh, look, six, six, that's just another form of one. So it makes sense that one times five still equals five. Okay, in this one, our partner has the bigger number again, so they get to keep those dominoes. They're, they're beating us pretty well, aren't they? Let's play again. This time we have three thirds and five fifths, okay? Let's see what happens. Now, we could do a little shortcut this time because we just talked about three thirds is the same as one and five fifths is the same as one, okay? We'll roll for us times six. So six times one is six. For our partner, I'm feeling pretty good. We might win this one. Three, one times three. Remember, this is another form of one. One times three is three. So that time we win the dominoes. Okay, let's see what's on these two dominoes. One for us, one for our partner. Three fifths and three eighths. So here we go. Three eighths for us, three fifths for our opponent. We're going to roll first. Let's see what we get. Times three. And our partner is going to do times four. All right. Three times three is nine. The numerator times the whole number, nine. The denominator stays the same, eight. 
9 eighths. To make that proper, 9 divided by 8 goes in one time with one left over, one part left over. So 9 and 1 eighths, and the denominator just stays the same. Let's see what happens with our partner's math problem over here. 3 times 4 is 12. The denominator stays the same. Okay? 5 goes into 12 2 times. 2 times 5 is 10, right? So that means we have 2 left over, and the denominator stays the same. Well, this time, our partner won. We won the last one. So they get to keep the dominoes again. And we'll just keep playing like that until we get to the end of the recording sheet or until game time runs out. Have fun playing. Mm -hmm.